Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, you're probably thinking, where am I? What am I doing? Me and Riley are currently in Brighton for a trip that I booked for his birthday weekend and we are gonna go book shopping today. I said to him, if we're going out, we're gonna go and stay in a little cute Airbnb, there has to be book shopping involved anyway. So apparently the Waterstones in Brighton is five floors high. I didn't know that until yesterday, which is really, really good, which means we're gonna get a good few books, hopefully. And then apparently there's also a works nearby. There might be another couple of cute little like indie bookstores that we don't know about but literally just gonna see what happens i don't know what i'm gonna buy yet i don't even have any books in mind that i actually want to buy i'm literally just gonna browse the shelves and see there's none that i'm like set out and saying i'm gonna buy that today but we will see but obviously i thought i'd bring you guys along with me considering we're going book shopping anyway so this is what this vlog is come book shop with me brighton edition this is a little messy view into our little Airbnb. So we have like a bed that's quite high up here and it is so cozy. And then it literally just has like the TV there. So we were sat all day yesterday just watching F1 on it. We have a little kitchen area, which we've made a great mess of. So you're not going to see that, but I just thought that it is a very, very cute place to stay. And it's very, very cute. But obviously we're in Brighton, going to do a bit of shopping today. Going to go out for some lunch as well and then do like a little walk along the pier. So not only is this going to be like a book shopping vlog, it's also going to be like a little sort of like spend the day with me, spend the day with Riley, I don't know, whatever, whoever you're here for, me or him, I don't care. You're coming along with us anyway. Bride by Ali Hazelwood, but the one that I picked up has like a massive gash in the spine of it. I'm a spine breaker, so that doesn't really bother me, but I don't want to buy one with it because I'll happily do it myself. I then picked up this one, which has so much damage on it. So now I finally come across one that doesn't have any damage on it. guys everything i've just bought in the waters in the waterstones in waterstones is in the works for five pound <gasps> oh thank 
I'm not going to walk back up here. It isn't sprayed edges. I'm eating my pickle. I'm eating it now. So I'm back now. I have my books. I have my pickle. Very, very happy. So I managed to get, I think it was four books. And I'm going to, oh, let me just put this down. Hold on. I got two in the works and then two in Waterstones. So firstly, in Waterstones, I got Bride by Ali Hazelwood. Obviously, I've read all of Ali Hazelwood's other books right now. So I just obviously wanted to read this one. This one's a little bit different, though, to our other books, apparently. I think it's like vampire -y. Which is strange, I've never read that before, so it'll be nice to sort of see how she writes that and stuff. But then I went into the works after and found it for £5 in there, so the fact that I paid £9 for it in Waterstones is a bit annoying. But here we are. I then, please don't judge me, picked up Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. Now this is the one, I think this is like one of the only ones I haven't really read by her yet, but I never bought it because the paperback's really, really hard to get in the UK. Like I haven't seen it anywhere. And apparently this one's been published now. So I just picked it up. This is another one that I saw for five pound in the works, but turns out it had sprayed edges. So I got all annoyed in the works. I was like, oh, I've just bought these for nine pound each. Turns out it had sprayed edges and I'm not like a major, major fan of sprayed edges. So glad that I picked it up there instead but i don't know when i'm gonna get around to this but i've got all of her other books so wanted this one as well and then in the works i got fango down by tessa bailey this is one that i wanted to get a couple of weeks ago now when i went book shopping for my sleepover video but i never actually like picked it up i decided just not to get it but i gave in i've got all of tessa bailey's other books and this is the only one that i haven't got because it's new so had to get it for five pound and then lastly for three pound i got first down by grace riley this is a i think it's yeah nfl american football college kind of vibe book and this is a series and this is one of my friend's favorite series she says that they're really really good and sort of like hidden gems because you don't really think anything of it you think that this is just going to be like a cute little read that you just read whenever but it actually is really really good so i'm excited to read this one i was going to start it actually on the super bowl weekend but i just sort of never got around to it because i think i was reading something else and the whole idea was to finish it and then start like an nfl kind of thing for the super bowl weekend but i just i just didn't i didn't do it <laughs> but those are the four books that i got today i was going to get more i did pick up actually bear town and i can't remember the author but everyone loves that book and i did pick it up and i was so convinced i was going to buy it but i put it down because i was like when am i going to get around to it i don't really want to buy books that i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going to read because i've got so many now i've got to the point at home where my bookshelf's full i can't even put books on it because it's, there's no room i can make room i guess but I don't have much room, so I don't just want to keep buying books for no reason. Whereas all of these, I'm definitely going to read at some point. But I kind of want to do like a little book unboxing soon. So I might order them. I've got obviously my Amazon wish list, so I can get a few books off of there and then do like a little unboxing video as a separate video. But yeah, they're the books I got today. We are going to head out in a minute, actually. Oh, actually, before I say that, I also want to say that before I forgot my train of thought. I don't know. I didn't get that many. I was going to get more, but obviously we are in the middle of brighton with only a rucksack on our backs so i didn't want to get a load of books and have to carry them home with me on the train tomorrow because we didn't drive down here we actually got the train so yes <laughs> we are going to head back out though um we came back just for a little chill session for a little bit needed a drink and stuff like that so we are going to head back out to the pier soon get an ice cream maybe or a donut or something i'm really debating whether to take my coat out with me because yes it is only like seven degrees but it is sunny and i've got a big chunky puffer jacket and it's just so hot so I have a knitted jumper obviously that I was wearing so I might just chuck that back on with this underneath and I should be fine. Classic Brit talking about the weather. I'm just gonna eat my pickle and then head out later.
Me and Riley are gonna head out to dinner now. So I thought I'd just do a little update of the vlog. We had our ice cream, we had, what else did we do? We did a bit of shopping, got our family some stick of rocks and he refrained me from buying everything in the shops because I wanted a bracelet, I wanted sweets, I wanted everything and I spent eight pound on stick of rocks alone which wasn't fun but here we are but we're gonna go out for some dinner not sure what I'm having what do you want a steak he went he loves the vlog anyway see you there And they just turned all the lights off the pier. <laughs> Over a tunnel the minute I get my camera out. 